Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Space is unbelievably large and mysterious. It is unlikely that we will completely explore it before the end of humanity. Every once in a while, we discover some mysterious celestial body or observe some unexplainable anomalies. We rarely have answers to these mysteries. All we do is brainstorm over what they could or could not be. Nevertheless, some are so weird that we have considered them as evidence of the existence of some intelligent life out there. Number 10. Oumuamua In October 2017, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Hawaii's Institute for Astronomy detected a mysterious object floating through our solar system. They named it Oumuamua. It flew close to the sun, reaching one-fourth the distance between the sun and the earth before suddenly accelerating and escaping from our solar system. Oumuamua is the only interstellar object detected passing through the solar system. No one knows that for sure, though its color is similar to that of some comets, which are made of rock and ice, or what it is or the cause of its sudden acceleration after passing the sun. Some astronomers have suggested that it is an abnormal comet. Others think it is an asteroid, a less than fully formed planet, a solar sail, or a large body of ice that broke off from a destroyed planet. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb gave this controversial idea a big boost with a scientific paper arguing that Oumuamua's unusual shape and its surprising acceleration suggest that it could be a light sail, a spacecraft driven by sunshine, made by aliens. Loeb doesn't claim that it's an alien craft, only that scientists should consider the possibility. Amaya Moro Martin of the Space Telescope Science Institute thinks that Oumuamua is the remnant of a partly formed planet. He and his team suspect that the planet was still forming at the time it was flung out of its solar system. If this is true, Oumuamua is the first less than fully formed planet we have found. Number 9. WTF Space Junk A group of scientists in a plane caught sight of a mysterious piece of space junk right as it burned up in Earth's atmosphere over the Indian Ocean in November. NASA and other space agencies around the world monitor a large percentage of the millions of bits of space debris that orbit the planet, and researchers had been expecting the object, appropriately named WT-1190F, to re-enter Earth's atmosphere when it was first spotted in October. But nearly two months later, they still aren't sure what the object actually was. They do have some ideas. The leading theory is that it's the second stage of a rocket, though they actually have no idea which rocket. Number 8. Tabby Star In 2011, scientists studying data captured by NASA's Kepler spacecraft discovered that a star named KIC 8462852 frequently dimmed before brightening up again. The star is also known as Voyageon Star, or Tabby Star. Scientists proposed several causes for this bizarre behavior. Some suggested that the dimming was caused by a group of comets orbiting the star, or some other unconfirmed material in our solar system. Others think that it is caused by the dust around a black hole between Tabby Star and Earth. One group of astronomers believed that this effect was generated by a megastructure built by some intelligent life. They think that the star dimmed when the orbiting megastructure passed between the star and the Kepler Space Telescope. This suggestion generated the most curiosity, causing other scientists to try to determine the real cause of the dimming event. Dozens of telescopes observed the star when it dimmed again in May 2017. Scientists soon discovered that this was not caused by a megastructure, because such an object would block all colors of the star's light from reaching the telescopes, rather than simply dimming it. Scientists concluded that the dimming effect happened due to space dust orbiting the star. However, they could not decide on the origin of the dust or confirm whether it is really dust. It also seems like the dust is being blown away from the star. This is why some scientists think that an undiscovered celestial body is creating more dust to orbit the star. In 2016, Brian Metzger of Columbia University suggested that the dust was released from a planet or moon destroyed after staying too close to Tabby's star. Number 7. The Cow in June 2018, a bright flash suddenly appeared somewhere in the Hercules constellation, 200 million light years away. The flash was so bright that it was equivalent to the light emitted by 10 100 supernova. Astronomers all over the world quickly got wind of the discovery and focused their telescopes onto the area in which the object was discovered. 
So far, at least 24 telescopes have examined the object more closely, and yet it's still not clear what the explosion was caused by. I've never seen anything like it in the local universe, astrophysicist at Queen's University Belfast and director of the Atlas Project Stephen Smart told the Washington Post. Because of the extreme brightness, about 10 times brighter than a normal supernova, the object is thought to have originated from our galaxy, but to be in the CGCG 137-068 galaxy, 200 million light years away. Scientists call it the AT 2018 cow, or the cow. It remained bright for two weeks before it started to fade. Scientists believe it may be a type 1c supernova, in which the giant star's nucleus collapses, and it loses its outer shell of hydrogen and helium. We're not sure what it is yet, but the normal driving mechanism for a supernova is the radioactive decay of nickel, and this event was too bright and too fast, Kate McGuire, an astronomer from Queen's University Belfast, told New Scientist. Number 6. A Mysterious Signal from a Sun-like Star On May 15, 2015, astronomers operating the Russian telescope Rattan 600 detected a strange radio signal from a sun-like star 94 light-years away. The star is called HD 164595 and is almost like our Sun. Both stars have similar chemical properties and temperatures. However, HD 164595 is 1% lighter and 100 million years younger. Some astronomers suspect that the mysterious signal was released by aliens because the star system containing HD 164595 also has a Neptune-like planet called HD 164595b. Scientists think the star could contain other undiscovered planets, including an Earth look-alike. However, other experts doubt that the signals are from aliens. First, the astronomers who detected the signals did not inform anyone for a whole year. Also, the mode of construction of the Rattan 600 telescope makes it difficult for it to pinpoint the exact location of a signal. So, the HD 164595 star system might not even be the source of the signal. Besides, the aliens would have needed at least 50 trillion watts of energy to direct the signal to Earth. This is more than what the whole of humanity uses at any time, and it is unlikely that aliens would have rallied such a massive energy just to direct a signal at us. Number 5. The Zombie Star A supernova is the massive explosion that occurs when a star runs out of fuel. It often denotes the beginning of the end of a star's life. However, scientists have discovered that this is not always so. In 1954, astronomers observed the massive IPTF 14 HLS star, which is 500 million light years away, explode into a bright supernova. In 2014, they observed the same IPTF 14 HLS star explode into a supernova again. Initially, astronomer Ayer Arkavi thought that the 2014 supernova was caused by a different star that had somehow managed to travel to the location of the star that exploded in 1954. However, he was surprised when he realized that it was the same star. Later, IPTF 14 HLS was nicknamed the Zombie Star because it seemed to have returned from death. While IPTF 14 HLS remains the only star to have ever been observed exploding twice, scientists believe that multiple explosions are common in stars with masses of at least 100 suns. Nevertheless, astronomers believe that IPTF 14 HLS is dead for good this time. They could be wrong though. Supernova shine very brightly for three months before gradually becoming black. IPTF 14 HLS shone brightly for over two years. We may need to wait a few decades before it explodes again. Number 4. Fat and Dusty Galaxies The gargantuan galaxies of the Big Bang era are saturated with dust and debris and can emit the radiation of a trillion suns, but they're invisible because their light is absorbed by all that dust and re-emitted at sub-millimeter wavelengths. With abundant materials and few bodies to gobble them up, researchers pinpointed a structure that was exceptionally fat and dusty. The galaxy poses a whopping gas mass of 330 billion solar masses. Comparatively, the Milky Way only has a gas mass of 5 billion solar masses, because most of its mass is already locked away in stars. Number 3. Signals from the M82 Galaxy In May 2009, British astronomers detected strange radio signals while monitoring an exploding star in the M82 galaxy. 
Radio signals from space often become stronger over several weeks before they begin to weaken. However, the signals from the M82 galaxy remained the same even though the source of the emission was moving incredibly fast. Some scientists believe that the radio signals were released by a supermassive black hole in the M82 galaxy. This is plausible because most galaxies have supermassive black holes that emit radio waves right in their centers. However, the signals did not originate from the middle of the M82 galaxy. Other scientists have suggested that the radio waves were actually emitted by a microquasar, a black hole that is formed when a huge star explodes. Microquasars are much smaller than the supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies, although they still have masses between 10 and 20 times the mass of our Sun. Some scientists believe that the mysterious waves, which do not contain X-rays, could not be emitted by microquasars, which send out both radio waves and X-rays. However, there are suggestions that the microquasar could be located in an unusual environment that eliminates the X-ray. Number 2. Oldest Objects Ever Found The universe is around 6,000 years old, give or take 13.7 billion. The oldest object whose age we can directly measure is HE 1523-0901, a star in our own galaxy. Measuring the age of a star is done with radioactive clocks in much the same way we use carbon to measure the age of human artifacts. Only elements with a very long half-life, such as uranium or thorium, can work over this length of time. Measurements made by the European Southern Observatory in Chile were able to pick up on six different ways of measuring the star's age, confirming it to be 13.2 billion years old. There are other objects whose age we can't measure but can infer. Some of them appear to be even older than HE 1523-0901. HD 140283, nicknamed the Methuselah Star, is a star that has long caused trouble. Initial estimates of its age gave figures that would make it older than the universe. More accurate measurements, made possible by Hubble, brought the figure down from 16 billion years to around 14.5 billion, with error bars that bring it inside the age of everything else. Number 1. The Fastest Meteorite If you happened to be in California on April 22, 2012, then you might have been lucky enough to see the Sutter's Mill meteorite blazing through the sky. Seeing a meteorite is always cool, but the fireball above the Sierra Nevada foothills on that day was particularly special. It's the fastest we've ever recorded. It was traveling 103,000 kilometers per hour, 64,000 miles per hour, almost twice as fast as we've ever shot a rocket. Scientists brought together information from a number of sources, including weather radar, pictures, and videos of the meteor. This allowed them to triangulate its trajectory and figure out not only its speed, but where it came from. They were even able to produce a picture of its orbit. Before hitting Earth, it used to travel almost as far out as Jupiter. The gas giant likely launched it towards us. The meteorite was interesting for other reasons as well. It was made of carbonaceous chondrite, a rare material. These meteorites have been called time capsules as they've been almost unchanged since they were formed in the early solar system 4.5 billion years ago. Scientists are typically able to track objects in the sky without knowing much about what they're made of, or analyze a meteorite in a lab without knowing where it came from in space. Having both pieces of information at the same time is of huge added value, according to a geologist from Australia's Curtin University. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.